Uh, good dinner of Shabbos, everybody. Ephraim Schwartz calling you here from Carmiel, from my office that I spent all week cleaning up and organizing and getting everything together. There's, I always wanted to be a librarian when I was younger. Um, it was like my dream, just being alone with books all day long and reading them and putting them in their places and putting them in... Ah. And uh, so I get a little bit of a taste of that. Um, but that was always uh, one of my childhood dreams. And Baruch Hashem, over the past year and a half, I've had plenty of time to spend with my books, my learning, and, um, of course, uh, enjoying life here as a retired tour guide. Um, but the truth of the matter is, uh, it has been a year and a half of a lot of alone time. And, um, you know, not every day with guests and tourists all over the place um, and, and being there really a lot more, shall we call it, me time. And the truth of the matter is that it's really been an essential year and a half, and I think it's really the essence of Yiddishkeit, as um, we seem to find that an incredible vart and idea from Rabbi Nachman. In the beginning of this parsha, we're introduced, of course, to Avram Avinu, or Avram, as he was called. By Yem Rashem Avram, the first at age 75, says, Lech lecha me arzcha me aladicha go from your land, from your birthplace, me beis avich, alerz asherareka, to the land that I will show you. And if you do this, right, then I'll make you a goy gado, I'll bless you, I'll make you great, and then the, those that bless you will be blessed, those that curse you will be cursed. And everybody will be blessed with you, or according to Rashi's idea, right, they will say, you should be like Avraham. Um, it's a fantastic bracha, and it's an incredible commandment. The uh, Rabbi Nachman's idea is, he says that there's two things. There's a person, is called Ani, there's me, that's my ego. Um, and we have to try to... Our, our job is to realize there is really no ego. There is no me. There's invalidating the anochi that I'm standing. Kilo, like Moshe Rabbeinu says, anochi omed beni ubenecha, that I stand between you and Hashem. But then there's something else. There's the lecha, right? Lecha is to you, right? To you, as Rabbi Nachman says, is to your neshama. It's to who you really are, to what you really are. It's, it's very different than ego. But what makes me up? What makes me tick? What is my deeper understanding. It's a self-awareness that's not dependent on ego, it's just in knowing who I am. Um, and um, what Hashem's first commandment to Avram is the, the essence, the foundation, the ground floor of your Yiddishkeit, of what, what being a Jewish nation is going to be, is knowing who you are, what you are, and the way that you can do that is to be able to do two things. I think most people focus on one thing, but they really don't focus, I think, even on the, on the more important thing. Um, the one thing that I think that everybody focuses on is that you have to put everything else behind you. All those foreign influences, leave them behind and go delve into yourself. Leave, you know, you're, you're not an American. You're not a, uh, uh, of the land that you are, that your father's house. All those things that identify you, put all those things behind and get into your, your true essence of who you are. And uh, that is true. There is an idea behind that about finding out who I am. But at the same time, Right, it's may artzicha, may meladicha, may besavicha. Recognize that when you're going away from those things, that those are all things that formed you. Those are all things that made you up. They're part of you, right? They're, they are you. Lech lecha, when you're going to yourself to find out who you are and who you want to be and what you want to make out of yourself. Right, know that you came, may artsacha, may muladcha. You came from idolatry. You came from. You can't just cut off the the past and pretend like it never happened. Um, and that's the process of self knowledge that Rabbi Nachman says is the fundamental aspect of it. And when a person can achieve that, right, then you know what happens. Then you become the most self aware and self knowledgeable person who you are. Nothing can ever take that away from you. And everybody else in the entire world will see you and will want to become like you. They will also want to be able to know that because everybody else is living in a world where everybody else is putting pressure on you. Right? I have to do this because of this. I have to do that because of that one. This is my society. This is my. There's all the types of norms. And this is the, the Hasidus that I'm in. This is the, the kippah that I'm in. This is the, you, the pull it up, whatever it is. But is that me? And everybody knows that we all do things, and not necessarily because it's me, but because that's just the way it's done. And it has to be done that. 
But somebody that can have that self-awareness, the self-knowledge about themselves, right? The people are attracted. People are drawn to that. They're like, wow, he's not identified by every, anything else. You know what that is? That's Hashem. Hashem is something that's not identified by anything else. I mean, we try to stick labels, and the Torah allows us to stick labels, but, it's, but we know that the essence is that it's beyond our comprehension. And when we realize that our soul can have that same God-like ability, to have that ability to be not dependent on anything else, right? then we're, we're like Hashem. But we have to know where we come from, how those things draw from. I think one of the big challenges, and I think perhaps that, that's probably what made Avram Avinu probably one of the greatest cure of professionals, the original cure of professional that ever was. I spoke a little, wrote a little bit about this in my weekly email, which of course you should be subscribing to by sending me an email at rabbischwartz at yahoo.com or WhatsApp messaging me if you're getting this on the WhatsApp message, right? But I talked about Avram's aspect of cure of professional. I think perhaps one of the biggest challenges that people that go through, you know, that Bale Chuva might go through is they're trying to erase their past. It's not me, it's not, I think the, the idea of Avram Avinu is this is who you are. Don't You don't have to erase your past. Avram Avinu, it, it's unreal if you think about it. You look at some of the Midrashim, it's, it's mind-blowing who he was in the car. I mean, you're talking about major, major players. The daughter, Hagar, was the daughter of Paro. According to the Targum Yonis of the New Zealand this week's Parsha, he says Eliezer, the servant of Avram, was the son of Nimrod, who threw him into the fiery furnace, which actually makes the story about Avram, him and Avram going and killing his own father, <laughs> Nimrod, um, in this week's part, even more exciting. Right? But, he, he, but he's taking these people that are coming from the worst of the worst places. But Avram's path is, find yourself, know that you're all going. There are all these things that make you up. You know, there's the nature and the nurture. There are all these that make you up. But that's not you. You're not your father. You're not your country. You're not your land. But those things influence you. Those things make your identity, give you a sense of who you are. And if you do that, then everybody will want to connect with you because then you have that essence. It's really the essence of the Jewish people. Of no, it, 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 It's what makes us above place, above time. It makes us eternal because we're not dependent on the time. We don't make a difference. We're Jewish people. We're the nation of Hashem. Whether we're in Africa, whether we're in the land of Israel today, whether we're in America, whether we're in Auschwitz, whether we're in the dungeons in the, the Inquisition or the Crusaders. It doesn't matter where we are because we're not dependent on anything around us. Like those great stories in the Holocaust, the Jews would sing and dance on some of those stories even though their big bullets are flying all over because we're, we're beyond that. It's part of that lech lecha that we went to ourselves, that we got from our room, that our Aminu trained us, that as our descendants put that into our DNA, that, that made us who we are. Um, it's an interesting idea as well that Eretz Yisrael is the same way. We find later on in the parsha it says Eretz Yisrael is the land of the. Uh, it says it's giving the borders of Eretz Yisrael. It says Ad Nahar Hagadol, and it says that uh, Rashi says Nahar Hagadol. What's the the Euphrates? Right, Nahar Hagadol. He says it's, it's not actually the smallest of the rivers that were mentioned in the in the book of Abrashis. But since it's connected to Eretz Yisrael, it becomes Gadol. Right, as soon as it identifies with the land of Israel, which is again be above time, be above space, it's the oldest country, the beginning of the entire world. It's not dependent to it. It's always going to be the, our inheritance, whether we're living here, whether we're not living here. Eretz Yisrael is, is eternal. It's part of us. It's our connection. In fact, it, it tells us it's our connection with. I think that the rabbis that we're drawn to, we call them gedolim, because we we become gadol when we're in their sphere because we want to identify with them, because they have that sense of knowledge, that sense of lecha that we have. The first trial, whether it's the first trial or the Gorkazim is not, but certainly one of the first trial that the Torah shares with us about Avram Avinu is getting to know who you are. Being able to do two things. Separate yourself from the past. Move yourself away from that. Don't let those things identify you. But it's me'artzacha. Know that that's where you came from. Don't try to erase the past either. Know that that past is who you are and what you are. And it's given you special qualities that nobody else can make. I was able to go ahead and tell Eliezer, you're the son of Nimrod. You have incredible kayak. You could be a leader. You could be, you can go ahead and destroy evil in the world. Avraham you know, is able to take his shmuel and make him all, ultimately bring it to the tshuva. He'd be able to find that you, you're not identified by what it is. 
That's what made you out, and that can give you the strengths and the kochos, the unique strength and kochos that you need to go ahead and to uplift the world. Parshas Lech Lecha was my unique koch to be a librarian that I don't know. It's given me a year. We've all had time, and we need time. Right? I was entire life, by the way, is on the road, traveling. He has a tent. I mean, so you think that everybody lives in tents back then, but it's not true. Everybody lived in houses. I remember he said, you know what? I'm going to be on the road my entire life. I'm going to be traveling back and forth and back and forth from here to there to base El, to Shechem, to Ai, to Egypt, to Negev, up and down, Shechem, all, all over. Because on the road, you're you're separated from everybody else. When you're sitting out there just looking out at the water by yourself, like a good friend of mine is trying to do this week, you're able to go ahead and to think about who I am. How is that speaking to me, where I am? It's aloneness. It's not identified by the community. But it's a time to go ahead and to realize and appreciate it. But I miss my family. I'm part of me. They're all part of me. They're all part of my identity. If we do that, we do that. Lech lecha. We should one day merit that Hashem will bring us to the day. Right? Where the entire world, the Ezchal Legoy Gadol, will see that our name will become great. And those that will bless us will be blessed. Those that will connect to us will be, will curse us, will be cursed. It's actually the partial, also that separation that we find with. We'll leave that for a different topic, right? But think about it. It's lotus separating and attaching yourself to Avram. Paro, attaching, separating, right? It's that that struggle, the mevarecha, avrecha. It's the people that are trying to have their identity or the people that are just uh, running with society. Have a fantastic week. I have a fantastic Shabbos. Subscribe to my weekly email. And Amir Hashem, we should all be zocha to the Geula Shlema here in Eretz Yisrael. Where Avram Hashem brought Avram, we should recognize that that land of is our inheritance and see it today.